So what I would like to hear from all of you too, at some point during our conversation today is what prompted you to listen to this webinar. Perhaps you're even training, training, um, good choice of words, or preparing for a surgery yourself. Or I'd love to also find out what your favorite go-to products are for surgery. So we'll go ahead and get started. And I, I want to start by saying one of um, the doctors that I work with said, well, are you going to talk about products that you can use for uh, anxiety around surgery? And I'll tell you probably one of the best things that you can do for anxiety around a surgery is preparing for it properly. So hopefully everything I share with you will give you a really good um, toolbox for preparing for surgery well, and not only preparing for it, but then move sailing through surgery. Well, I did wanna say that this, I am not intending to treat disease. It's not been approved by the FDA. It's not necessarily the opinions of standard process or mid -ear. But what I will say is I put a tremendous amount of my own time and research into this particular subject. I do stand behind everything that I say today. So you're in very good hands. And I wanted to start with a quote that I found because I thought this is a really good, serious look at what happens to our body when we undergo surgery. And it says, without the miracle of the body's own healing, all surgery would be lethal. Wow. Okay. So let's talk about why, because surgery is very serious. So first of all, it is a major shock to the body, especially our lungs, our liver, our bladder, our heart, and our GI system. And many of those they're in shock, but they're also our detox pathways. And that's going to be important when we're dealing with surgery and I'll explain that more in detail. And then anesthesia. So we realized it depends on the type of surgery that you're having as far as the type of anesthesia that you're having as well. But in general, anesthesia interrupts the usual activity of neurons and it needs to do that in order to trigger unconsciousness. But what it also does is it disrupts normal communication between various areas of the brain. And then the after effects of anesthesia can vary from the delightful side effect of delirium or cognitive impairment, increased blood pressure. And this, I thought, makes total sense. It, it affects our lungs because it has to stifle our body's urge to cough because a surgeon does not want you to cough during surgery. That could be a very uncomfortable situation for them to be in. And lungs is one of our detox pathways. Just keep that in mind. And then anesthesia increases our blood pressure. So that's going to affect our heart. And then it suppresses peristalsis because a surgeon does not want you to have a bowel movement during surgery as well. And that by suppressing peristalsis and by the round of antibiotics that are given one after surgery, that's going to affect your gastrointestinal, uh, gastrointestinal tract, excuse me. So surgery provokes inflammation response or an inflammatory response and that in itself is going to predispose you to infection. So here's another risk factor of having surgery. So aside from COVID that everybody's talking about, of course, you have the risk of C. diff, MRSA, your risk of pneumonia goes way up because again, our lungs are affected by anesthesia, GI disorders for the before mentioned reasons, and urinary tract infections are also very common infections that you would get in a hospital. There's actually a term for it, it's called nosocomial infections. And those are infections that come as a result of your stay in the hospital. So preparing to undergo surgery is similar to training for a marathon. Both are considered physically and mentally taxing. 
Okay, obviously. And if you think about it, you're not going to just go run 26 miles in a day. You're going to train for it sometimes months in advance. And think of surgery kind of the same way. You, you want at least a month in advance to train for that. And I'll break that down in a shopping list for you. So the idea is to become as healthy as possible beforehand to improve the outcome. And enhancing the healing response and supporting organs that are most affected should be a major priority, especially those detox pathways that are also affected by anesthesia. So here is a short list of what I would recommend to use to prepare to give you the ideal preparation for surgery. And I'll go through each product in detail, but I, what I wanna say is that there are no known drug interactions or contraindications with any of these products. And it's going to be easy for anyone, including vegetarians, those that are on gluten, lactose, or casein-free diets. Okay, so it is SP Detox Balance. And again, I'm going to talk about each one in detail, but I'm going to especially really wanna emphasize how important purification is before surgery because so many of our detox pathways are suppressed or hampered during surgery. Standard process epimune, standard process GI stability. And those two products are going to be very good for gut health. And again, I'll talk about that in detail. Mediherb milk thistle forte. This is a very special class of herbs known as trofo restoratives and many herb go to cola complex, which will be used post-surgery. Okay, so we're gonna start with standard process detox balance. And again, purification is going to be really important because so many of our detox pathways are affected by surgery. And detox is going to be really important to help bring down inflammation and in surgery is definitely and inflammatory incidents that we're having. So this is what a surgeon is going to tell you. Your general pre-surgery guidelines are eat cruciferous vegetables, which is great because it helps detoxification. They're going to suggest that you avoid alcohol and saturated fats, including meat and dairy and sugar, uh, because I thought it was interesting too. So sugar is inflammatory, and so can meat and dairy be, but they increase the risk for slow bile movement. And that's going to be very important. Our liver is very important as a detox pathway, but so is our gallbladder. And if those foods increase the risk for slow bile movement, we want to avoid them before surgery. And then surgeons will usually recommend that you increase your fiber because that also promotes bile secretion. And you'll find out why I'm suggesting all of these together in the SPD tax balance. So some of the highlights of this product, and this will this holds true for the other purification program that we have called the 21 day clinical purification program. But in the case of surgery, I'm going to recommend SP detox balance, and I will explain why. And again, like I said, this what I'm the key pieces here are going to hold true for the 21 day purification program. It will increase healing and recovery. And it's a source of all essential amino acids, including glycine, glutamine, and leucine. And please remember too that essential amino acids mean those are not proteins or amino acids that your body makes you have to get them from your, your diet. The SP detox balance is going to be rich in immunoglobulins and immunoglobulins have a very special purpose, which is going to be very handy when you find yourself in the hospital. They bind themselves to antigens and the antigens can be viruses and bacteria. And these immunoglobulins aid in their destruction. So very important for our immune health. 
very important distinction between our product and a lot of other products out there is the fact that this provides deep whole food nourishment. Many of these products are organically grown on our farm, but it encourages all detox pathways. Most purification or cleanse programs focus on the bowel only, which is great for weight loss, but we have our detox pathways are not just the bowels, but the skin, the liver, the lungs, and the kidneys. And our particular products will focus or balance or help support all detox pathways. In addition, it reinforces the microbiome and supports cellular health. Shock, infection, and surgery doubles and triples your need for protein. So surgeons will tell you, you need to up your protein. And the average amount of protein that a, an American or a human being needs after the age of 40 is about 40 grams of protein. So if you're having surgery, you're going to need 80 to 120 grams of protein if you're over the age of 40. And why they recommend increasing your protein is because it's used to form antibodies, synthesize collagen, so it's going to help repair and it rebuilds damaged tissue. Cruciferous vegetables are among the most important for wound healing and increasing glutathione levels. And you will get that in the SP Detox Balance. And the type of protein is very important too. So I wanted to put in a comment about sarcopenia, which means this is a loss of protein. And as we get older, we tend to worry about bone mass, but what tends to get shoved to the side, unfortunately has to do with muscle mass. And sarcopenia is a steady loss of lean muscle mass. Very important to avoid that. And protein, the right quality protein will help. Sarcopenia is a Greek word meaning poverty of the flesh. I thought that was interesting and recognized as a degenerative loss of muscle mass and strength. Limited mobility, increased susceptibility to injury, but the one vital aspect of human strength, muscle mass reservoir, determines how easily a person will recover from injury and deal with inflammation. Very important to have high quality protein. So it's not only the source, but the body's ability to digest protein that allows us to build muscle mass reservoir. And our protein is going to be a very low temperature, non-denatured protein. So what I did was I broke down based on the fact that our need for protein goes way up during surgery and that the average person over the age of 40 needs at least 40 grams of protein a day. My recommendation would be to add SP Detox Balance to Veggie Pro. And if you were to do that, if you were to take three servings of each and mix them together, you would get 96 grams of protein. So you are, you've got a very comfortable amount of protein. Again, remember if you're over the age of 40, doctors are going to want you to have 80 to 100 grams of protein. So you're going to be getting that and you're going to be cleansing and detoxifying your body beforehand. And you do want to start this a good month before because doctors will tell you that you need to stop taking any herbs that are enhancing liver clearance one week before surgery. So my recommendation would be to start this at least a month before and then finish the SP Detox Balance and your Veggie Pro protein shake one week um, prior to surgery. You could continue to take the Veggie Pro shake by itself up until surgery because that does not contain the herbs uh, in the SP detox balance. So how you do it, I just wanted to give you an idea. I, I 
take this every day. And this is one of the questions that was asked when I did a sneak preview of this, this webinar last week. <clears throat> one of the questions was asked, well, gosh, what about emergency surgery? And I thought that was a really good question. So if, if you don't expect surgery, you don't have a month or so to prepare for it, my recommendation is you've got to keep yourself as healthy as possible beforehand. And this is what I take on a daily basis. So I, I use the SPD tox balance a day, but rather than three, three servings, I use one half of a serving. So I use one scoop, which is one half of a serving of the SPD tox balance. I use, because I love chocolate so much, I use the Veggie Pro chocolate and I use four scoops. That's one serving. So I'm doing half a serving of this and one serving of this. And I mix them together with water. I don't mix it with anything else. Put it in a shaker bottle, shake it up, makes it super easy. There's no blender. There's no extra fruit involved. And of course, for those of you who have known me for a long time, I love whole food fiber and I always add extra whole food fiber. There is some whole food fiber in the SP Detox Balance, but I always like to add more because we need extra fiber and doctors are encouraging that. So I add a couple of scoops of that. I put it in the refrigerator because the refrigerator yields a really nice silky shake and acupuncturists, if you're cringing, please know that you can take it out of the refrigerator after it's gotten nice and silky and smooth, which takes about an hour or two, just stick it on the counter. You can warm it up to room temperature. But that is a really good way of doing a very gentle detox. And I, I really like doing that. Okay. I want to talk a little bit about the cruciferous vegetables that are in the SP detox balance because they're going to be special to standard process. Not only are they grown organically on our farm, but I think a lot of other people don't really know much about some of the cruciferous vegetables. So we tend to think of cauliflower and Brussels sprouts and kale as cruciferous vegetables, but Spanish black radish is one of the most potent cruciferous vegetables. And there's a lot of it. There's a good helping of it in the detox balance. Cruciferous vegetables are going to be very important for wound healing and increasing glutathione levels. In addition, it's a source, an excellent source of sulfur, which is often referred to as a healing mineral, along with a good powerful source of vitamins A and C, which are important for healing, potassium, sodium, calcium, and phosphorus. All of that is in the Spanish black radish. In addition, it aids every cell in the elimination of toxic substances plays a role in protein synthesis and cellular respiration. It increases blood circulation, promotes muscle health. It's a free radical scavenger and it's important for wound healing. Another hallmark of standard process are buckwheat sprouts. And please don't get this confused with the grain, buckwheat grain are buckwheat sprouts are picked about four weeks after planting and they are processed immediately. This is when their, their bioflavonoid content is their highest. And what makes this special is it's, it's considered, it's like a microgreen. The clinical studies are that are done on buckwheat are on the young grass germinate finding outstanding results on this. And if I wrote a clinical paper on uh, buckwheat, I'm happy to share that with anyone who's interested. So you're getting the bioflavonoids, good for connective tissue, the P-vine, which is also in the SP detox balance, it has ligament and connective tissue rebuilding properties. So I talked a little bit about some of the proteins, the free form amino acids or the essential amino acids, glycine. So collagen, one third of our collagen is con composed of glycine, which is going to be important, not just for our gut, improves our digestion, but it protects our kidneys. Remember 
that kidney and bladder infections are skyrocket. Your risk of getting one in a hospital goes through the roof. Also, it's an important detox pathway. Glutamine for wound repair, excellent for the gut. And leucine, which is another amino acid, very important for tissue regeneration and a natural anti-inflammatory. So SP detox balance isn't just used pre-surgery, isn't just used for somebody who wants to detox a couple of times a year. It's also excellent for gentle daily detox, which is how I use it, but also post purification. So I'd mentioned the 21 day purification program earlier, and you can use SP detox balance as post purification support, which I think is great. No quarantine body. I'm on my website, you'll find an, an older blog where I give the same shake that I just did for my daily shake, just so I can keep track of getting very nutrient dense, but low calorie breakfast substitute, which is what I use to prevent my no quarantine body. And then preconception care. So obviously this is done before you get pregnant, but very important for both parents to have their bodies in the best of shape before they conceive a child. And the SP detox balance can be used along or the 21 day clinical purification program could be used. Obviously it's suggested not to use during pregnancy or lactation because purification is not appropriate when you are pregnant or lactating. The second product on my list is standard process Epimune and it's a combination of EpiCore and medicinal mushrooms. It's a prebiotic. So right off the bat, it's going to be very good for our GI health. It boosts our microbiome's beneficial bacteria. It increases interferon levels, improves digestion and overall health. The medicinal mushrooms are maitake gold and turkey tail mushroom, both are considered outstanding and have loads of clinical research behind them, are going to be very important to increase all immune markers and gut microbiota health. It's a source of beta-glucan and it's a precursor to vitamin D. So vitamin D levels, keeping them nice and healthy and at maximum level is going to also be important. And this will help increase your body's own vitamin D. I thought it was interesting, and there are plenty of uh, clinical studies just on EpiCore by itself, but I love the combination of EpiCore plus medicinal mushrooms that's found in the EpiMune. That EpiCore by itself has been used as a nutritional therapy in viral cases, including herpes and hepatitis and Lyme. It inhibits E. coli in salmonella from here to the intestines and the gut by stimulating immunoglobulin A, also known as SIGA. And just so you know, I've got an entire list of all the clinical studies at the end of this webinar. But here's a randomized double-blind study showing that EpiCore increases microbial killing activity of leukocytes. So what it's doing is it's taking our white blood cells and making them stronger so that we're going to mount a really good strong attack against any pathogens. And again, it says it decreases infectious complications in patients undergoing major surgical procedures. Very important. It activates macrophages. So very important. It helps your white blood cells. And beta-glucan, because it's a source of beta-glucan, reduces risk of staph, which is a common infection, a nosocomial infection found in the hospital. And I thought this was great that beta-glucan 
or neutrophil activating agents like beta-glucan may prove to be a novel means of prophylaxis against surgical infection and less likely to be adversely affected by increasing antibiotic resistance of nosocomial pathogens. Very important because it's not just the pathogens, but it's the fact that so many people are antibiotic resistant. And Epimune is going to help support the body with no need of worrying about whether or not a virus will be able to get past it. Okay, Maitake Gold and Turkey Tail. So here are the medicinal mushroom part of Epimune are the best dietary sources for potent antioxidants, ergothionine and glutathione. Now I'll tell you, I was not familiar with ergothionine before I did my research for this particular topic. But I thought what was really interesting is the fact that yes, we know that antioxidants are really good, but a lot of them only stay in our, our plasma about 30 minutes. And ergothionine, which is found in these two medicinal mushrooms, stays in our plasma 30 days. That is fantastic. It has unparalleled potential benefits for cognitive function, eye health, immune modulation, lung health, remember how important our lungs are in the hospital, skin health, another detox pathway in addition to lungs, and cannot be made by the human body. This is a great product. I take one or two a day myself. Okay, it's also considered a product that's very safe unless you're allergic to mushrooms. So if you're allergic to mushrooms, you should not take Epimune. And then even people that are on medications, if you are on warfarin or diabetic and you're on medications for that, you still can take Epimune, you just don't wanna take as much. So again, your need for Epimune increases with surgery. Uh, average use is about one or two daily, but before surgery, it'd probably go up to four daily. And again, if you are on diabetic medication or warfarin, my recommendation would be to go down to probably just one daily. Standard process GI stability. This is another wonderful product. Um, you want to start it at least three weeks before. Same thing with the, the Epimune, you wanna start at least three weeks before. And you can start right after these products can be taken right up until surgery, just so you know. And the reason why you want to support the microbiome, especially if antibiotics are prescribed before or after surgery. What makes this special is it is a special product called 2FL. And 2-FL is the main carbohydrate found in mother's milk. In addition, it contains organic colonsonia, beet, and okra. By the way, okra is an outstanding source of quercetin. It increases bifidobacterium and butyrate. And butyric acid, we'll talk about that a little bit later, how important that is for our immune system. So it's going to be very good for GI wellness, it's another source of bioflavonoids, which is going to help our body to heal, prevent cellular damage, great source of antioxidants, and there is some fiber in there. So the 2FL comes from cow's milk, from its organic cow's milk from Germany. And I do want you to know, in case anyone throws up their hands and goes, oh my gosh, I'm lactose intolerant, I can't take this. I want you to know <clears throat> that with the fermentation process that's used, there is no lactose, there's no case, casein found in the, the product. So that's not going to be an issue. And I just wanted to, to give a shout out for some of the special fermentation processes that Standard Process has. We have microbial fermentation, or this is a type of microbial fermentation. We have lactic acid fermentation and butyric acid fermentation. So the lactic acid fermentation assists in 
creating butyrate, which is a fatty acid that's very important. It serves as food for our colon bacteria. And then the lactic acid keeps fruits and vegetables in a state of perfect preservation, but also promotes the growth of healthy flora while inhibiting putrefying bacteria. So butyrate helps control the growth of cells, balancing between the old cells dying and the new cells being formed. Butyrate is most famous for protecting against colon cancer by the regulation of T cells. And there's plenty of clinical information on butyrate as well. And I thought this is interesting, remembering that our brain is also affected during surgery by the anesthesia, that butyrate may improve learning and long distance, or excuse me, long-term memory by increasing BDNF. So that's brain-derived neurotrophic factor is what that stands for. Butyrate supplies brain food to the hippocampus, the brain's hub for memory and emotions. And I thought this was important too, the fact that this gives birth to new neurons called neurogenesis, which cognitive enhancement and recovery from brain damage are dependent upon. So this is a really good protection against anesthesia. You can, you can take it a step further if you're curious to find out what types of good and bacteria you have in your body. We do have, it's brand new, it's called Biome, B-I-O-H-M. So if you go to standardprocess.com, after you sign in, just type Biome or Microbiome Test Kit in the search box and this will show up. And this is what it tests for. It looks at the diversity of our microbiome, the good and the bad bacteria. So it will tell you all of that. And this is also going to be important for regulating inflammation. So you may wanna consider that. And this is a stool test that's available now through standard process. Milk thistle forte. So again, doctors are going to tell you, you need to stop all herbs one week before surgery. And the reason why is because herbs if they're, especially if they're liver clearing herbs can interfere with anesthesia, which you certainly don't want to do. But there is one exception to the rule. You can always talk to your doctor about that beforehand. And that's milk thistle forte. So milk thistle forte fits into a very tiny class of herbs known as tropho restorative, which means that they have the ability to restore tissue but they're also generally recognized as safe. They can be taken with just about any medication. And milk thistle forte is going to be very important for liver support without interfering with any medication. So this is something that can be used up until surgery. And again, you can always run it past your doctor just to make sure. It minimizes the effects of anesthesia. Trophor restorative, considered very safe. It can be used right up until the day of surgery, and then you want to start taking it as soon as possible after surgery, and you want to be on it for at least three weeks. And that, again, is to help minimize the effects of anesthesia. There's no evidence to suggest that it interacts with drugs by speeding up the rate at which the liver metabolizes them, so it doesn't adversely interact with anesthesia, which is important. Go to cola complex. For those of you that have been around MediHerb for quite some time, you're going to know how important go to cola complex is to be used after surgery. You do need to wait one week after surgery. And here's what you can expect from the MediHerb go to cola complex. It's going to improve healing rates, reduces edema, improves microcirculation and wound healing. Microcirculation is a very important part of wound healing because what it does is it helps pull out uh, inflammation and any toxins while transporting nutrients to the site of um, the wound or 
incision. So microcirculation is important. It helps accelerate the healing process, especially for connective tissue. And it's antifibrotic. So obviously a little bit of scar tissue is a natural part of the healing process, but this is going to help prevent those big keloid scars and adhesions. Suggested uses for daily. So here's one preliminary trial that was done in humans because a lot of studies are still done with animals that found that a gotocola extract improved the healing of infected wounds unless it had reached the bone because then when it reaches the bone, then you've got a very serious condition. Additionally, a review of French studies suggests that topical gotocola can improve healing of burns and wounds. Another trial found Cotocola extract helpful for preventing and treating enlarged scars, also known as keloids. I will tell you that um, I use Cotocola complex every day myself. Sorry, the liquid Cotocola. I forgot to bring my bottle from the bathroom, but I'll, I've got my recipe up here for you. No significant adverse effects are experienced with internal or topical use of this herb. So this was asked last week, a lot of people wanted my recipe. So I thought I would put this in here. This is something that I use every day. Um, I use goto cola, I use nettle leaf. Nettle leaf is also an excellent source of silica. I also use calendula. Calendula is very good for healing for the skin, but if you want a really good, simple, product, my recommendation is this particular recipe. And this whole presentation will be on my website shortly. And the Easy Mag is not available in the powder anymore. Now it's in the tablets only, but you should be able to use this. And my recommendation, and I see that I haven't changed it, would be to add two of the Easy Mag tablets to this particular tonic. This is a surprise guest. It's not on your shopping list. And I did want to just mention a little bit about light therapy and how important it is for healing. So low level laser therapy using infrared light can speed up recovery after surgery. Can be used prior to surgery. It's considered safe and very powerful using light as medicine. So whether that's the Saluma or any other type of LED light therapy that you've got, do consider using that at least post-surgery to help speed up the healing process. The reason why I put this in here and chlorophyll is because chlorophyll complex are considered light harvesting chlorophyll pigments that enable, they actually help increase, they capture photonic energy and help increase ATP. And I think that's incredible. Sunlight is the most abundant energy source on this planet. However, the ability to convert sunlight into biological energy in the form, form of ATP is thought to be limited to chlorophyll containing chloroplast and photosynthetic organisms. I do wanna say that this is not to be confused with liquid chlorophyll that you buy in a health food store shelf. This is a fat soluble chlorophyll. And there is a clinical study that I have again at the end of this um, presentation. So liquid chlorophyll, just so you know, it's been chemically processed. Chlorophyll is naturally occurring in fat, which is what our product is. When it's been chemically processed like that, it's considered a water-based chlorophyll. And basically what remains is copper rather than magnesium, which is the essential mineral in chlorophyll. And I think this is a really important point too, because this was fairly new to me that we tend to think, oh, chlorophyll should not be taken before surgery because of the vitamin K content in there that will affect the clotting factor. And it turns out that the amount of 
vitamin K in there is a pretty low amount and will not be affected with any kind of medication. So here you go in the slide, the vitamin K content in chlorophyll complex pearls isn't enough to interact with any type of blood thinning medications. So it can be used before surgery and certainly after surgery to help speed up the healing process. Those are my references that you will get. And that's all that I have for you. So I'm happy to entertain any questions that you have. Wow, Kim, that's all? <laughs> that was a lot. <laughs> oh, good. I'm hoping you all enjoyed it. Oh, lots of notes. Um, does anybody want to unmute themselves and ask any questions? I don't think we have any questions in the chat box. Okay. Um, anybody want to jump in there? Well, I think it was terrific. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look on your website so I can get all the notes that I couldn't write fast enough. Oh, thank you, Marge. <laughs> it was terrific. Thank you. Glad you enjoyed Terry. it. I didn't get this information before this happened. Oh, hi, Terry. Oh, what a shame. Um, I know. So I, I fractured my wrist. So um, I'm going to, I have to, I can't write. So I'm trying to, I know it's recorded or go back on the website and look at it. What it would be the, it's been um, a week since my surgery. Would you recommend the priorities here? Well, you fractured your wrist. Yes. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. So, I, my priorities are going to change a little bit. So CalciFood wafers is one of the most important products that you can take for bone healing. And it's something I also recommend, believe it or not, for arthritis. In fact, my kitten, who's less than a year old, chews, I chew it up for her and make a paste out of it. She gets two calcium food wafers per day, which is supposed to be very, very good for bones, bones and teeth. And for you, very important. Chlorophyll complex is also going to be very important for healing. Um, Gotocola is also going to be very good for bone healing. So I'd probably go with those three. I'm good. And I do have Saluma. So as soon as this comes off, then I'm going to be using that. Well. Okay, wonderful. Do that. Um, you mentioned in the beginning about um, UTIs being common. So using the protocol that you presented would be good for that or just yes. Animal, what would you recommend for the UTIs? So you could use the SP detox balance that will help prevent a UTI. But if you already have one, probably the very most popular product and it works like nothing else I've ever seen is Mediherb Urico, U-R-I-C-O. That's something I have in my book, so yeah, I agree. Okay. okay. Yeah, you can also use Albaplex by standard process, A-L-B-A-P-L-E-X. I'm sorry, so spell that again, it's hard sure. to write. Sure, Albaplex, A-L-B. Oh, Albaplex, okay. Albaplex okay. would be very good as well for okay. urinary tract infection. Okay, perfect. And Terry, right. I'm happy to help you. I, if you've got a fractured wrist, I feel so bad, but I can yeah. email you some information afterwards as well. Okay, that'd be awesome. Thank you. Okay, sure. Yeah, I was so delighted that you did this because I'm a, a, a facing hip surgery. So, uh, uh, replacement. so this will be perfect. <laughs> good, good. Ready. Yeah, I, I can't say enough about using SP Detox Balance and the Veggie Pro chocolate or whichever one you want to use together every day because okay. I think it's fantastic. And then uh, the reason why I didn't suggest the purification program was because it, the protein content is lower. So you're, you're better off with the SP detox balance and the veggie pro, whether you choose the chocolate or the vanilla. Okay, good. good. Uh, we do have a, a question here about the the, the biome test, is there, mm -hmm. are there places where we can find out more about the technology used for that? Oh, absolutely. So Dr. Ganoom, who's considered one of the top microbiologists in the world uh, is the one who created this. And he's done, he's written a book and he's got several studies uh, through Case University, or sorry, Case Reserve Universities, which is considered one of the top universities in the United States, top private universities. 
you can go to, again, if you, and this holds true for any standard process product, go to standardprocess.com. You have to sign in in order to see all these studies, but go to the search bar. That's, I use that more than anything. Type in any product that you're interested in, but keep scrolling down. Don't just go to the, the picture of the product where you can add it to your cart. Keep scrolling down. And for this particular question you're asking about biome, you'll find everything, including sample um, results, sample studies. So I think that that's your very best bet. Oh, fantastic. Thank you. I've been getting a lot of questions about that actually, Kim. Okay. Yeah, I, th um, I think it's just a wonderful stool test and very inexpensive. Uh, we have a couple other questions here in the chat. Um, are there other things in the in this protocol of yours that would be contraindicated in pregnancy, um, especially like for a C-section that would be considered a surgery? Yes, and I thought of that too as I was preparing. So with the C-section, obviously you're, you're pregnant already and you're more than likely you may be able to schedule your surgery. You, I would recommend everything with the exception of the SP detox balance because you're already pregnant. So what about Whey Pro? You could use Whey Pro. Uh-huh. Um, the Veggie Pro, I like just because it's dairy free. Oh. So just more but, Veggie Pro then to yeah. keep up your protein. Yeah, protein. exactly. That's, that's got a higher protein content. I think the and Whey Pro Complete was my all-time favorite until we came out with the Veggie Pro, but Whey Pro Complete is a fantastic product as well. So I think the Whey Pro Complete is 15 grams per serving and you're getting 15 grams of serving in the Veggie Pro. So you can use either one, whichever nice. they prefer. And the Whey Pro doesn't shake up quite as easily as the Veggie yeah. Pro does. True. Uh, okay, other question. Uh, for someone having jaw surgery, what would you recommend um, shakes for nourishment after the surgery for six to six weeks to two months? I would imagine after the jaw surgery, you can't eat. So, oh, yeah, where very would good you point. go there? Um, would you continue to do the veggie pro because of the protein content, or would you? I would, would and, that and you, add things. You you know what I would probably do is I do it with the SP detox balance. You might want to add the SP detox balance in a few days to a week after surgery. Um, I think that can be taken pretty quickly after surgery, but even if you take it post surgery, it's going to help cleanse. It's going to open up those det all detox pathways to help get rid of some of the medications out of the body. Seems to me that with jaw surgery, the quicker you can heal, the, the more important, right? You have to be able to eat, so. Exactly, so I'd be curious to know more about the jaw surgery. Is it associated with periodontal disease or was it Lauren, a broken jaw? Do you wanna chime in on this one since this was your question? Yeah, it's, um associated with a, uh, a structural problem that um, it's actually for myself and um, I, my teeth don't meet. Okay. So, um, they're going to have to do a few different surgeries, widening the upper palate and um, breaking the lower jaw and then moving the chin over because one side grew longer than the other. And also I've had periodontal disease, but I've had laser treatments. So that's all stable right now and I'm getting Invisalign. So that has to come first. Like they move your, your teeth and get them ready. And then after the surgery, they're prone to move more easily. So okay. it's kind of, wow. Yeah. Okay, so if, if you're able to get on my website, kimsperryconsulting.com, I have a webinar on arthritis and the notes should be up there as well. Mm -hmm. And what I'm going to recommend for you is calcifood powder. And I would add that to the SP detox balance and the veggie pro that way, all three are powders that you can make into a shake. And that, that way it's minimizing, there's no chewing involved, mm -hmm. but I think that's going to be very important for healing the 
the bone of the jaw. Mm -hmm. Um, The other thing too is, and I talk about not only periodontal disease, um, but infection in general. I think, I think so many of us without, I don't want to sound like I'm diagnosing at all, but I think a lot of us are carrying around subclinical infections in our bodies, whether that's viruses, parasites, bacteria, fungus. And part of the problem is the fact that some of us from the time of childhood on were put on antibiotics, maybe a course for 10 days and then stopped. And it takes about three to a good solid three or four months to really help rid the body of infection. So there's another product that I'm so in love with, and I'm getting fantastic results out in the field on it, is Artemisinin Complex by MediHerb. And I'm going to recommend that. That's You'll learn about that and periodontal disease a little bit more on that webinar on arthritis. Yeah, I had um, a lot of antibiotics and I did a, a stool test and I was really high in candida. Okay and um, some H. pylori and dysbiotic bacteria. So I did a whole protocol and got rid of all that, but I know I had an infection, like a fungal, systemic fungal infection. Yeah, dysbiosis. Yeah. yeah. And that's that's what turned me on to artemisinin and complex by MediHerb is the fact that it helps, is considered a very safe, it can be taken with just about any medication but it's the fact that it is antifungal and antiparasite, you know, it's, it's all antipathogens. It's, it's like a full broad spectrum antipathogen product. Yeah. And wow. the, with the periodontal disease, a lot of it is genetic. Mm-hmm. I don't have it. I'm just prone to it. And um, more so since I have such big gaps in my teeth and that they didn't meet, like a lot of food would get bacteria would get stuck in there <laughs> for uh-huh. years. So, so I don't know if I would need that now. Um, you're, you're thinking like after the surgery to take the artist, artist in complex. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Recommend it. But again, you can learn more about it. And then you can also, I think you emailed me earlier today too. So I'm glad you're on the, the call. I, I didn't, uh, but that's oh, okay. <laughs> but okay. I'll definitely look at your um, webinar. But, uh, feel free to yeah reach out and okay. I'm happy to help you. Okay, thank you. Sure. Anybody else? Anybody yeah, else? I put something in, in the chat. It's Arlene. Uh, yes. Oh, hi, Arlene. Hi there. Uh, oh, uh, yeah, yeah, old scars. Old, there you old are. scars. Old scars? Uh, I'll, I'll tell you what, it's a product that's not used very often, and I think it's, it's wonderful and it's easy to use, is USF ointment by standard process. That's probably the easiest thing. It's a tube of paste that's going to be very good for old scars, new scars, any kind of scars. It's it's oily, but it's fantastic for your skin. And I'll tell you who introduced me to it years and years ago was I was at a chiropractic convention in Reno and I was commenting to this chiropractor, he and his wife were at the, our booth on how gorgeous their skin was. And he said, we both went through our front windshield in an auto accident and we used USF ointment to heal our face because we had so many scars. So obviously they more than likely used it in the very beginning, but I would say USF ointment is fantastic for old scars as well. So how does that differ differ from the chlorophyll ointment? Chlorophyll, well, chlorophyll ointment is wonderful too. And I've used that post-surgery, but chlorophyll ointment will stain. Yeah, I know. It's, it's pretty, pretty bad. Yeah. So, <laughs> um, but also yeah. um, I thought, see, I started years ago with using the, that ointment. And then um, I thought it had like too much estrogen or something that I read. The USF ointment? Yeah. I thought it, it was messing up your hormonal balance. No, I can't see that happening. Um, I'm not saying it doesn't, but I, I can't understand how it could, especially if you're using it topically. Okay. Yeah. And I'll tell you the other thing too, that chlorophyll ointment was originally used for 
there, it used to come with a rectal applicator because chlorophyll ointment is so good for diverticulitis. Oh, and Crohn's and anything where you're dealing with <clears throat> bleeding <laughs> internally in the rectal area. And well, yeah, I mean the U.S. the that the um, U.S. whatever ointment <laughs> is US uh, definitely yeah yeah it's definitely a lot not as messy as the uh, chlorophyll. Yes. Yeah, for sure. Yes, I would uh, also. Use both. I'd also encourage you to use acupuncture on a scar. And then also, if you're gonna do the USF ointment, uh, go on YouTube and look up Gua Sha. Okay, yeah, I know Gua Sha. Sha. Yeah, just use, a, um, I would use a, one of those 50 cent ceramic Chinese soup spoons. Well, I have a Gua Sha thing, I do have and, one. Yeah, if you have an actual implement. But would too. you, can you mix um, the Gota Cola liquid with that? ointment or you wouldn't do that? I mix go to cola liquid with wood shingle. <laughs> so sure, you could certainly give it a try, see how okay. it works. Okay. Or what you could do, what I also do is I'll put <clears throat> liquid go to cola in a uh, little spray bottle and spray it on the area, rub it in first, and then probably put the USF ointment on top of it. You might try that and see. Okay. Anyway, okay. See what works best. Okay. I'm trying to put my question up. I don't know why it won't show. Let's see. Oh. Gosh, I hope I'm not missing it here. <clears throat> well, I, I can't seem to get it into the box. Why don't you well, just sure. ask the question? All right, the question is, is, I did have uh, angioplasty on my legs uh, in October. And since then, I have had almost nerve pain I, my shins are red and I have nerve pain. Um, and I'm wondering what would be good for nerve pain. Okay. Uh, so first of all, Sharon, if you need to, to get off, I totally understand. Cause I know you have Thank another you. meeting right at one. Thanks, You're welcome. Thanks, thanks for, for being on Sharon, yeah, being my co-host. All right. Yeah, I have to go to and another I'll, meeting. So okay. Thank you. But I, I can stay on and answer Marge. So for nerve pain, and this is something I learned too, Neuroplex by Standard Process is fabulous for nerve pain. Mm -hmm. Mediherb St. John's wort. Oh, okay. Uh, Standard Process Inositol, mm. very important for nerve pain. You can get it in the tablets, which are chewable or the powder. Okay. And powder mixes very easily in with water. It's sweet tasting. So patient compliance is very high with the Nositol powder and water. Okay. And those are the most important products for nerve pain. Nervagesic would be another one. That would be very good. Awesome. Nervagesic by Mediherb, N-E-R-V-A-G-E-S-I-C. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Well, I think that's it for today. Thank you so very much for being with me. And then should you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me.